In this video, we're going to cover how the real time planner treats make to order manufacturing orders and make to stock manufacturing orders and their product availability differently in relation to the sales orders to which they're committing product to. So, as we've already done in the previous video, we have made the make to order workflow and thus created a linked manufacturing order to sales order number six, which you can find here on the make screen listed as sales order number six. Make the stock orders are different and the easiest way to tell on the make screen is the fact that they're indicated by an MO, usually by default, um, whereas make to order manufacturing orders are indicated by the sales order number. We've also covered the fact that uh, sales orders, when dragged and dropped, for example, if we take the sales order six for Mary, will also change its position in the make queue on its order of prioritization when it comes to making it. And uh, this gets reflected in real time on both sides and updates all of your uh, manufacturing operations as well in real time. So let's say, for instance, that your business does a little bit of both. You both make items to stock and you both make items to order. And how do you build that into your workflows? It's a bit complicated. And the reason why it's complicated is simply just due to the fact that in some cases you might be making the same product that you keep in stock, but also have a special order at the same time. And a simple example of that is the one we're using, which is furniture. Um, if, for example, uh, this cognac colored coffee table is a standard item you keep in stock and you sell as orders come in, uh, but there's other cases or special order cases that come in which are made to order, like Mary's case, then you have to create that product specifically for that person. And one of the things that you need to make sure of when you're running a manufacturing operation is that you don't accidentally send the wrong product to the wrong customer. So in the case of make to order, where there might be an element of customization, uh, you need to be mindful of this. Uh, if the same type of item is sitting on the production floor, it's taken out of stock and then fulfilled in real time. So there are those types of mistakes that can come about. And how Katana addresses this issue is related to how our real time planner is booking those products that are coming out of your manufacturing operations. Because we have a certain prioritization in place that favors make the orders and the items that they receive no matter what the rank is. So let us assume that maybe Sarah has a higher priority order than Mary, but both of them are ordering exactly the same item. Now, presently, Mary has a make to order that's going through the manufacturing process, but Sarah should be the one that's getting her product first. Now, this is the unique scenario where you might see this happening and be like, okay, well, how come what's in manufacturing is not being booked to Sarah? So the way Katana works is that by default, it will always book what's available in stock by rank. So by default, if something is in stock, it will look for that first. Now there's an exception. The exception is if another sales order is existing in the list, that has a linked make to order manufacturing order, then no other sales order, no matter what their rank is, in case of Sarah's rank, which is above Mary's, no other sales order has the right to take away the product that's being made specifically for this one sales order. So basically Mary's sales order is immune to the fact that Sarah's sales order has a higher position in the queue. So uh, in the event that we have a make to stock manufacturing order, which we can create real quick, we'll go to the products page, find the cognac colored coffee table here. We're missing one. Let's go ahead and make it. And we will create and close the order. Now, if we've created this manufacturing order, by default, new manufacturing orders appear here at the very bottom. And so I'm going to move this make to make to stock manufacturing order up to be right next to uh, the one that is being made specifically for Mary. So now that this is in the manufacturing queue, you'll then see that it's being booked to Sarah, who's at the top of the list here and has an expected receive date of the 13th of December. 
Now, if for some reason another sales order comes in for the cognac colored coffee table that is being made to stock, then it will also come here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and make a quick sales order. And this sales order will be for, let's say, Jane. And Jane will order the cognac colored coffee table. So once that's been done and we exit out, then it appears here at the very bottom of the list. So now we have three open sales orders, Sarah, Jane, and Mary, who are all ordering a uh, cognac colored coffee table. There are currently only two of them in production. One of them is a make to order for Mary, and then the other one is a make to stock. Now, the make to order for Mary, as you can see, still has an expected date, even with two sales orders above it in the queue, booking the same product. So again, reiterating the point here that uh, no other sales order can take away the make to order that's being specified for Mary. So now we have a make to stock order and there's two sales orders presently that are in the queue. Those two are the ones fighting for prioritization on the one that's coming out of manufacturing. So you see there's an expected date means that it's being booked. Taking a look here on the make screen, because Sarah's sales order is higher than Jane's, you'll see that on the make screen, that manufacturing order number five, which is the make to stock, is being booked to Sarah. Now there's a difference between the way things get booked between MTO and MTS or make to order and make to stock. Make to order has what they call a static booking, means that it's locked and no other order can take away that product. But make to stock orders have what's called a dynamic booking. And dynamic booking means that when the change takes place on the sales order list, then the booking is rebooked based on the ranking in the sales order queue, but the MTO or make to order sales orders are ignored. So right now it's Sarah. If for example, Jane becomes more important than Sarah, then you'll see that what's happening on the make screen is that this is now getting booked to Jane. So we have one manufacturing order that is feeding the most important sales order, and that's the make to stock order. So that's basically how it works uh, when it comes to the booking of your sales orders for make to stock items and your sales orders for make to order items. This ranking um, is a one manufacturing order to many sales order versus one manufacturing order to one manufacturing order. And then in the case of that happening where the production status is updated to work in progress, that still pulls through to the production status when the booking is rebooked to the highest ranked sales order. So when, when Sarah pulls into this position, then it updates to the expected availability. It changes the production status just as well. And then of course, when that manufacturing order is also completed and changed into a done state, then it changes to production as done and sales item is in stock. If I swap them around, then that one gets the booking. So the relationship on this hand is exactly like so. Sales order number six goes higher into the queue. It's going to ignore the fact that you actually have one in stock. And the reason for that is, is no matter how important it is, um, that manufacturing order is booked specifically to that sales order, no matter its rank. And that right there is the general relationship between make to order and make to stock and how the prioritization takes place between the two. So you're not ever in a situation where items that you have currently in production will get booked to the wrong orders, especially when they're in a special order scenario.